If experiencing Kennedy Space Center has always been on your bucket list, there's no better time to visit than now. Go Falcon, go Dragon, Godspeed, Axiom 1. America's space program is in a new, exciting era. There's no better place to learn about the future of space exploration or the heritage of NASA and its heroic pioneers than here at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. In 2022, a new exhibit building is making its debut. Gateway, the Deep Space Launch Complex, houses a SpaceX Falcon 9 booster that supported two missions. There's also an immersive ride experience allowing visitors to launch on a journey to distant worlds. Past, present, and future of space exploration all represented here. There are so many interesting experiences at the KSC Visitor Complex, you definitely want to plan on spending an entire day on property. On this episode, we're going to show you 10 things you can't miss at Kennedy Space Center. All of that and so much more coming up next from the Space Coast. If you grew up in the 80s like I did and remember watching countless launches of the Space Shuttle, the Atlantis exhibit has to be at the top of your list. For three decades, the shuttle vehicles launched like a rocket and landed like a glider while transporting astronauts to space and back. Once inside, you'll be ushered into a theater for an inspiring look at how the shuttle came to be. The dramatic reveal of Atlantis is awe-inspiring, bringing a tear to my eye every time I witness it. Lots of fun exhibits and hands-on activities for all ages in this building. The Shuttle Launch Experience is a ride simulator that veteran astronauts say is the next best thing to actually lifting off into space. Down this corridor, inside Atlantis, are displays containing personal items from the brave astronauts who perished in the Challenger and Columbia disasters. Tucked away in the back is a room with a section of Challenger's left fuselage with American flag and the framework of Columbia's cockpit windows. For me, this exhibit triggers a flood of memories and is the most poignant tribute at the visitor complex. Admission to the KSC Visitor Complex includes a trip aboard an air-conditioned motor coach to the Apollo Saturn V Center, five miles to the north, and the only way visitors can access the exhibit. Along the way, riders are told about the history and future of the massive spaceport and can catch glimpses of the Vehicle Assembly Building, the largest single-story building in the world. Keep in mind, tour buses might be rerouted due to launches and other operational requirements. For best views of the VAB, be sure to sit on the right-hand side of the bus. The bus tour drops visitors off at the Apollo Saturn V Center. This interactive exhibit explores the wonder of the Apollo program from the days leading up to the first launch to the moon landings that followed. Visitors are ushered into a firing room with actual consoles used during the Apollo launches to experience the liftoff of a powerful moon rocket. One of the last three remaining Saturn V rockets is the showstopper of the exhibit, where young and old alike can marvel at the size and complexity of this impressive human achievement. Upright, it's taller than the Statue of Liberty. The fallen three astronauts of Apollo 1 are remembered inside this tribute, where some of their personal items are unveiled in these displays every few seconds. 
The Treasures Gallery houses the Apollo 14 crew capsule, spacesuits, and other authentic artifacts from the Apollo moon missions. Lunar Module 9 from Apollo 11 is on display, along with examples of how newspapers reported the moon landing internationally. Hello there, I'm Harrison Schmidt from New Mexico and also the last person to step on the moon. One of the newest features at Apollo Saturn 5 are these holograms of veteran astronauts who can answer questions through a special kiosk. This outdoor space at the Apollo Saturn 5 building was unveiled in 2019. The Moon Tree Garden features a dozen trees honoring the 12 manned Apollo missions that blasted off from the Florida shore. These second generation trees are direct descendants of seeds that were taken to the moon. The centerpiece of the garden is a bronze statue of Apollo 11 astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. A garden of a different kind showcases engineering feats of technology back at the main campus. Just inside the entrance gate is the Rocket Garden, featuring giants from the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo programs. At different times throughout the day, an expert is on hand who relates interesting stories about the early days of space flight and answers any questions you might have. Clear out your camera roll, you'll definitely be taking lots of pics here. Technology combines with historic artifacts to tell the story of America's early space program at Heroes and Legends. A series of pods showcase artifacts from the pioneering astronauts, many pop culture items like comic books and Buck Rogers toy pistols to flight gloves and goggles that belong to John Glenn. Sound and lighting effects on the original Mercury Mission Control Room consoles recreate the tense moments before the landing of Glenn's Friendship 7. Concluding the experience is the breathtaking U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame. A bronze statue of Alan Shepard welcomes visitors to the hall, and glowing etched likenesses of the inductees line the walls. If you've ever wanted to meet an astronaut in person, you have that opportunity at the Visitor Complex. During Astronaut Encounter, men and women who have lived and worked in space share their experiences during a live presentation and take questions from the audience. Check the events calendar upon arrival for a list of Astronaut Encounter times. Behind the IMAX theater and Planet Play is a monument to the fallen heroes of America's space program. Dedicated in 1991, the Space Mirror Memorial is a flat expanse of polished black granite, standing more than 42 feet high. Names of astronauts who have died are cut completely through the surface of the panels and backlit with LED lights, causing the names to constantly glow and appear to float in the reflection of the sky. While you don't exit the KSC Visitor Complex through the gift shop like other area attractions, you can't leave without stepping foot inside. This is the world's largest space-themed shop. Covering more than 15,000 square feet, the space shop has a huge selection of souvenirs related to NASA and the different eras of the space program. The two-story interior received a major facelift a few years ago to include interactive features and the actual gantry from Apollo 11 that can still be walked across. That's it, 10 things you can't miss at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. What's on your must-do list at America Spaceport? Let us know in the comments. We always love hearing from you. Stay updated with our latest content by subscribing to the channel, it's free, and activate the notification bell so you know when new tips and guides are released. More information about the content on this channel, including maps and helpful links, available at our website. 
As always, thank you for watching. From Kennedy Space Center, see you next time.